There are a number of status effects in Elden Ring, each providing their own form of detriment to the player. If you are having trouble against a nasty boss and looking for an effective strategy, you no doubt would have heard of the Bleed status effect. Bleed is a status effect in Outer Ring that can be inflicted on enemies, including bosses, but it also can be inflicted on you. What's going on Supreme Team, you're here with Jadog Supreme and today we are asking another important question in Outer Ring. What is Bleed? Now Bleed, otherwise known as Blood Loss or Hemorrhage, sounds pretty self-explanatory. You hit an enemy with a weapon, they bleed, but it's a little more complicated than that. Whenever you are hit with something that causes bleed, there is a bar that pops up, which fills up the more you are hit with that effect. Similar to other status effects such as poison, once that bar is full, the blood loss occurs. Only instead, blood loss takes a decent chunk of your health instantly. Nothing else happens apart from this instant health loss. Nothing happens over time, and no other stats are affected. The bleeding effect rules that apply to you also apply to enemies and bosses. Now what people don't realise is that when the blood loss effect occurs, the amount of damage is a percentage of your max health, making the blood loss effect a very good strategy when taking on enemies with large amounts of health. When you hit a tanky enemy and cause bleeding, it won't matter how much health they have. The enemy will lose a good chunk of health based on the percentage of their max health. Bottom line is bleed is always going to do some considerable damage. So next time you are dealing basically no damage to an enemy, using a weapon that causes bleed may be a good option. Sure you want to deal with bleed damage to enemies, but how can you protect yourself against bleeding? The bleeding effect can be protected against by raising your robustness stat. Robustness is increased by adding points into endurance. The bleeding effect can also be reduced by using staunching boluses. How can I cause more of the bleeding effect? Another important thing to note is that if you are interested in the bleeding effect, weapons that tend to cause bleeding usually scale with arcane, so keep this in mind when levelling. The higher your arcane when using a bleed weapon that scales with the arcane stat, the more blood loss will apply. Just note that not all weapons will scale, look for this here when looking at weapons. There are some key things to note between the correlations of bleed and arcane. Arcane will not affect bleed buildup if a weapon does not have arcane scaling. For example, an Uji Katana can cause bleed but does not scale with arcane, so arcane will therefore have zero effect on the bleed. Arcane will affect bleed buildup if the weapon has arcane scaling, such as the Bedavia, or if a weapon like the Uji Katana is given arcane scaling. This can be done through certain affinities from Ashes of War, like the Blood Affinity, or a Cult. This can get pretty in depth to various bleed builds, so we'll save that deep dive for another time. I also have another video explaining the arcane stat that is displaying now. There are also items and spells that make your weapon temporarily cause bleed such as Blood Grease and Blood Boon. Now, in terms of weapons that cause bleeding, there is quite a few good options, and some classes even begin with bleed weapons, such as the Samurai that starts with the Uji Katana I mentioned before. What I have been using is the Hook Claws, which can be found in Stormbale Castle, but there's plenty of other viable options that scale with Arcane. I don't know, but I just couldn't pass up that chance to be a spicy Wolverine. Should I worry about the bleed effect? Overall, when utilised right, the bleed effect can be a very powerful status effect that can bring down the toughest enemies with large health pools. You don't have to focus primarily on a bleed build, but just know that this is always usually a good strategy should you run into a wall in Elden Ring. That's a summary of what the bleed effect is. Are you using the bleed effect in Elden Ring? Do you have any questions you want answered in Elden Ring? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe for more Elden Ring content where we ask the most important questions in video games. You've been watching, Jadok Supreme.